Welcome guys, so today I'm going to show you guys how to set up Java FX on your Mac machine. For this video, we're going to be using the Eclipse IDE. So hopefully by the end of the video, when you run your program, you should be able to get a window like this. I already started a project on how to make happy faces, but we'll get into that in some other video. But for now, let's set up your machine. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to the Eclipse website and you're going to want to download the Eclipse version that's best suited for your machine. If you're running Intel on your Mac machine, make sure to click on the Buy 86 and 64. If you have Apple Silicon chip, then click on this option right here, AARCH64. So once you download it, you're going to have a hard drive on your desktop, you're going to click on it. This part is very important, so make sure to do this. You will want to click on the Eclipse icon, and you're going to drag it over to the Applications folder. Since I already did this, I'm not going to do it. But make sure you do this part, because if you don't do it, then the IDE won't work properly. So heading over back to the web browser, you're going to go to oracle.com and you're going to want to download the Java 21 and Java 17. Let's see, the JDK Development Kit 21. Make sure you pick the right one that's appropriate for your machine. And again, if you're running Apple Silicon, make sure to click on the ARM. If you're running Intel, then click on the 64 bit. So once you download it, make sure to install everything that it says to install. Pretty quick and easy, so I'm not going to go over that part. After that, you're going to want to go over to the Gluon website. So this is the part where we're going to download the Java Fox. So you will make sure you want to download the one that says type SDK. And make sure you download the appropriate one. If you're running Apple Silicon, then download this one right here. If you have Intel, then download the 64 bit. And make sure it says SDK. So what I did is I made sure that I download and unzip the files onto my desktop. I can see here I have a Java Fox SDK. So now let's run the program Eclipse. So when you run the program, you're going to want to head over to the help icon. And you're going to scroll down where it says Eclipse Marketplace. Here, you, you want to make sure that you install the EFX Eclipse 3.8. I already installed this, so I won't have to do this again. But make sure you install this on your machine. Uh, for the next step, you're going to need to add the jar files to the user libraries. So what you're going to do is head over to the Eclipse and hit Settings. Now under Settings, you're going to see Java. Under Java, you're going to see Build Path. Under Build Path, you're going to see Libraries. Click on it. Uh, you're going to go to the new button and you can name it whatever you like but I strongly recommend you name it Java FX and 
you know, click on the folder that you just created and you head over to add external jars and click on the folder that you downloaded earlier, JavaFX and go to lips and then you're going to click on every single jar file that you see There are eight jar files here. And then you're gonna click on open. I already did this step, so I won't have to do it again. So once you're done with that, you should be able to have a user library called JavaFX. So now let's create a JavaFX project. Go over to you. And under new, you're going to go to project. On the projects, select JavaFX project. Click next. You can name the project whatever you name you desire. And click finish. Go over to your folder. Under SRC, under application, you should be able to see main Java file. And there's a couple of errors here. If you're going to fix that, don't worry. So, double click on the folder and then go to build path. And under build path, you can see configure build path. Click on it. Go over to the libraries tab. Then go to module path. Then go over to add library. Click on user library. Then you're going to click on the folder that you created earlier with the JavaFX. And hit finish. Apply and close. Now the arrows went away. So before we run this program, there's one more thing we need to do. So you're gonna head over to the run icon, then you click on the little arrow, then head over to run configurations. And then you go over to arguments. Now, usually this box is checked, so you want to make sure this box is unchecked. Then you're going to go over to run. And then you should get this little small box right here. And that's pretty much about it. That's how you set up JavaFX. I know it's a very long process. And if you have any questions, make sure to leave them down in the comments below. Other than that, and congratulations, you have completed the process. So, thank you guys for joining me. I hope this video was helpful, and if it was, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.